Today is a family fun rides day uh, and this is all about getting families, young people, older people down onto the trail, onto the Great Northern Railway Trail uh, on bikes or off bikes um, but just realising what a great, great place it is. It's all about getting people out uh, in this beautiful Queensbury weather for a change for people that might have not ridden before and there's a, a smaller loop for people that are just getting into it people that want to challenge yourself a bit more there's a bigger loop for everybody to have a go on there's a few organisations here so Strands, uh, the Halifax CTC and they're all playing a part in making sure it's a good day um, First Cycles is doing uh, free services on all bikes so we know everybody's safe and out there it does seem to be a success today, yes. Um, the weather's fantastic. I think we've had nearly 200 people register to cycle today, so it's been fantastic. Then with it being the Tour de France here, there's far more cycling interest in the country, and especially in Yorkshire. I'm gonna give him a big roar. <laughs> a cycle route through the tunnel would be quite a good legacy for the Tour de France, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be fantastic, yeah. The Tour de France came to Yorkshire. You know, the grand depart in Yorkshire, you know, it's a fantastic occasion. It would be a fantastic legacy. You know, looking back in years to come to say that that tunnel campaign was started in the, the year of the Tour de France. At this stage, we've got the interest now of the Under Secretary for Transport, uh, Robert Goodwill. Uh, he's expressed interest in Queensbury Tunnel as a cycling route, uh, so we want him to come along and have a look at it uh, and explain to him how it fits in with our, our local ideas. I think where there's a will, there's a way. The government is putting in a lot of money, hundreds of, of, of millions into cycling. The government's taking cycling seriously, thank goodness, because we all benefit from it. So, uh, we just need some of that pot of, of, of money uh, that's a national budget uh, to come to Queensbury. We need really uh, the political will from Bradford Council and from Calderdale Council to show that although they needn't put any money into it at this stage, what they've got to do is to convince the highways agency when they come along to do repairs in the tunnel, which they have to do because they, they, they are needed, that they do those repairs in a way which preserves the passageway through the tunnel. So that then Sustrans, who are waiting to see what the, t what the condition of the tunnel is like, uh, we'll come and have a look and, and look at the viability of, of, of a cycleway through it. So in a sense we don't know because we've got to wait and see what the condition of the tunnel is, but I think we've got to be proactive. We've got to show interest so that when the engineering survey is done, then it's done in a way which is predisposed to a cycleway being put through the tunnel. At Keelham, we're going to get drinks and fruit all for free. We've got the 140th anniversary of the opening of the tunnel coming up in uh, 2018. Um, I'd like to see a triathlon actually. We had a, a mini triathlon in Queensbury uh, just a month ago and um, the organisers I, I talked to and I said we need to reroute this triathlon in four years time. It's got to go through the tunnel. Why not? What's, what's, what's not to like? You know, it's fantastic. Bradford could really, really benefit from this. Um, and Bradford needs that sort of, uh, of attraction and needs that, that sort of asset to be used for, for public benefit. Mm -hmm.